Hello everyone. In this session, I'm going to discuss the previous year question paper of the subject Applied Physics for Triple History. First of all, I request you to go through the particular question paper. So in this session, I'm going to discuss questions from module one and module two. First, let's see module one. So you can familiar uh, the pattern of the question paper. Same manner, you can expect the forthcoming examination. Let's see the question number one. Define wave equation, wave function, and set up time independent one dimensional Schrodinger's wave equation. So you need to define the wave function. It carries the weightage of eight marks. Okay. Uh, next one is called Heisenberg uncertainty principle. It is also having the weightage of seven marks. Third one is a problem that is calculate the Broglie wave associated with the electron with a kinetic energy of 1.5 electron volt. So altogether we will be getting 20 marks from the part A. Okay, question number one. Now I am going to show you how to answer this. So I am seeing the first, first problem, sorry, the first equation that is Schrodinger wave equation. So you need to familiar, you have to see the uh, steps, how we provide it. Okay, so this equation, you have to familiar the variables. Ultimately, uh, this is our Schrodinger wave equation. One minute. So you can see this is our Schrodinger wave equation. Okay, so you have to uh, add more steps. So such that we will be getting the complete marks. Now question number B, 1B, Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So you can uh, use the mathematical equation. Statement with equation carries two marks. The conditions, it is also having 2 plus 2, ultimately conclusion also you have to mention. Altogether, we will be getting uh, total 7 marks. Then calculate the de Broglie, wave uh, de Broglie wavelength associated with the electron in a kinetic energy of 1.5 electron volt. Question number 1C. How to answer this? Question number 1C. Yes, you need to use this equation or you can observe here. So we have the equation like, uh, can, can note down if possible. So this is our equation. Lambda is equal to h by square root of 2 into m into e. Okay, you have to substitute. Ultimately, you will be getting the answer as uh, wavelength is 1.1 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter. Okay. Uh, this is our answer. You will be getting uh, 3 marks if you get the final answer. Altogether, uh, how much you will be getting? I will show you the question paper once again. So use the formula. Ultimately, we'll be getting uh, five marks, correct? So these are the questions from the first part. Second part, module one, uh, derive eigenvalue equation for the particle in one dimensional potential wall of infinite height. Question number two A. Let's see how to answer this. Anyway, we require the de Broglie hypothesis. It carries the weightage of two marks. Write down the equation lambda is equal to h by mv. mv is nothing but p, okay, h by p. Okay, mass into velocity, that is uh, P. Uh, then uh, we can call it as uh, momentum. Uh, then uh, lambda is equal to h by square root of 2 me. So from this uh, substitute accordingly, you will be able to get the answer. It carries total uh, seven marks. Okay, question number 2B. So another one is question number 2C. So question number 2C is, uh, so use the formula delta p is equal to delta p is equal to m delta v. Okay, change in momentum is equal to m into change in uh, velocity. So you can substitute accordingly. You will be getting two marks. So you got to apply the condition. If you apply the condition, uh, so position greater than or equal to h by four by delta p. It should be two point four into ten to the power minus three. Okay, so. Uh, First one is 2A will be Schrodinger equation. Okay, you can write, already you might have studied uh, the general equation of Schrodinger wave equation. You can write it. That was the question number 2A. I think it's clear to everybody. Yeah. So now we are going to uh, discuss about question number uh, 3 and 4, which is from module 2. Okay. The question number 3A is, uh, what is Fermi factor and explain the variation of Fermi factor with respect to temperature and energy? Question number 3A. So you need to explain about the definition of Fermi factor, variation of Fermi factor with energy, variation of Fermi factor with the temperature, and uh, 
uh, graphical representation. You might have heard about the Fermi Dirac distribution. Same manner you can explain. Question number three A. Question number three B. Uh, Clausius Mazzotti uh, relation. Question number three B. Yes. Uh, so we have to follow the expression. Uh, this is our uh, expression for internal field. Ultimately, you will be getting, you have to derive the expression like uh, epsilon r minus 1 by epsilon r plus 2 is equal to n alpha e by 3 epsilon 0. So ultimately, you will be getting uh, 7 marks. Hope it is clear to everybody. So we have to elaborate a little bit more. Question number C, 3C. Uh, so there is a problem uh, numerical related to solve the polarization produced in crystal by electric field of strength uh, 500 volt per meter uh, if it has dielectric constant of 6. Question number 3C. Write down the parameter. It is uh, always better to go for this particular equation, standard equation. You can compute independently. Okay. First, uh, FO, FOP at 200K, FOP at 400K, you can uh, calculate separately. First answer was uh, 0.24, second answer is 0.36. Very simple problem. Okay. So, yeah, in this session, I have discussed question number uh, 1, which is uh, 1 and 2 from module 1, question number 3 and 4 from module 2. The rest of the question, the questions will be discussed in the part 2 video. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know if you have any queries. Thank you.